is an empowered woman. I decide to call you an empowered woman. <laughs> welcome to the That's program. Me. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, senior uh -huh. journalist, we have uh, Comfort Musa. Comfort Musa is a gender activist journalist. Um, you are also uh, a multiple award winner. Mom, thank you for coming. Thanks for having me, Killian. Yes, thank you very much. I'm honored to uh, be here with uh, these uh, powerful ladies uh, acclaimed by so many who saw us bringing them to the program. And we hope that you're going to enjoy the discussion that we're going to have with them today. But as we usually do, we set the program rolling with a regular slot of the week. And it is press review done for us by the lady on the beat, it's Emanuela Bemnui. Emanuela? As COVID-19 continues to threaten lives in Cameroon with surging number of new cases, newspapers have waged an information war against the pandemic. Municipal update sounds COVID-19 alert as PM faces frightening new COVID statistics on the voice then warns that COVID-19 is very much here on Cameroon Insider before government goes firefighting due to upsurge in COVID-19 on the horizon. Travel ban is then imposed on top management staff on the star as government hits hard on barrier measures on the advocate. Minat Boss gives marching orders to governors and SDOs to reinforce COVID-19 fight on the Guardian Post but with the danger that looms in schools on Cameroon Insider, the Secondary Education Minister institutes compulsory screening for students and teachers on the Post newspaper. Despite all these, Cameroonians are moved by government's fresh push on the sun, with women defying government ban on public manifestation on the Eden newspaper. In the face of this, government set for first consignment of coronavirus vaccine on the Eden with the paper. But the post weekend are questions, will President Bia take COVID-19 vaccine like peers? The reintegration of ex-combatants receives a push, with Prime Minister demanding for acceleration on Cameron Tribune. Then government strategizes on effective reintegration of ex-fighters on Cameroon Insider at a time the post sees the Anglophone crisis not on the National Assembly's agenda as a new parliamentary year kicks off on Cameroon Insider and Cameroon Tribune. Even as Dr. Namanga Ngongi on the horizon insists Parliament should act now, perhaps as alleged separatists shut down Bamenda on the horizon. To the Guardian Post, one dead, others injured, as suspected amber fighters open fire on buses. Wednesday clashes are then said to have paralyzed Bermenda, leaves two soldiers dead on the post weekender. But the silver lining in the dark cloud would be the arrest of the dreaded Amber General in Konye on the Guardian Post, just when irate villagers chase Amber fighters from community in Bui on the same paper, before a self-styled Ambazonian general apologizes for atrocities committed on the Herald Tribune. At the time, Eric Tato tells Chris Anu, Phil Marshall, apologize for killing Libyalem chiefs on the Guardian Post. All these leaving West Cameroon to sit on riches, yet walk in poverty on the post weekender. Then Minister Adum Gagum dies on the Guardian Post. The nation mourns him on Cameroon Tribune. And then Minister Gagum is interned on the Eden. Same honors are given to Professor Lantum on Cameroon Insider and the president of the Bar Council, Chakute Party, on the media. In the words of the Guardian Post, NEO is a national shame. Let's now wrap up our press review with this report on the post weekender. Desmond recounts how he went through hell in the hands of his wife for love. The 36 year old who works in a car wash says violence against men is real. After going through a lot of torture, both psychologically, sexually, and emotionally in the hands of his wife, who refused to get intimate with him for four years, the young man is said to have been heartbroken when the wife got pregnant for his best friend. Desmond left the wife for the sake of his health. He is just one among many said to suffer from domestic violence. Until I come your way again, this is your hour with the press.
thank you very much, Emanuela. We're waiting for you, by God's grace, next Sunday, same time, with the same slot. It actually spices our program. Thank you, Emilio. Now, our topic, it's a man's world. We're talking about gender. Mm -hmm. Just want to ask whether this is a man's world. We know we are one week away from the celebration of the 8th of March. And in Cameroon, like elsewhere in the world, it was celebrated with a different color altogether. No pomp, no uh, celebrations in the streets, uh, in the grandstands and the rest. But we had discussions, roundtable conferences, and so many other activities that marked the day in Cameroon. And before we actually go into whether this world is owned by men, over you, women, uh, I want you to comment on the way Cameroon celebrated the 8th of March this year, uh, which was done within the context of COVID-19. And probably it didn't suit so many who like to go celebrating, maybe exaggerating, beginning with the uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, as I mentioned earlier when we were having a chat, I think that there's no pro problem with celebrations. I think we all agree that women should be celebrated. It is how the women are celebrated that matters. But I want to think that this year's uh, Women's Day uh, was marked by a lot of in-depth discussions on uh, the way forward, on forward-looking strategies to enhance uh, uh, women's uh, women's leadership, you know, in society, in home and in society. So I think that all the roundtable um, conferences that were held, all the the radio interviews that were done, went further to enhance the theme of this year's celebration: women in leadership in challenging times. I don't like to say in COVID times because COVID is a challenge. We have so many challenges, but I think uh, COVID is a big challenge. But there's there are also um, shadow wow. COVID matters think, yes. that are not be being brought to the table. Mm -hmm. So COVID seems to overshadow these um, shadow uh, challenges that we have. But like, you took care of all of So we took care of all of those um, during the discussions. <laughs> yes, uh, Jesse, maybe uh, COVID was an opportunity for women not to go to the type of excesses that we have noticed <laughs> in the uh, past celebrations of the 8th of March where you have women, some of them, they strip themselves naked in public. Some of them, they go out and say, no, I will not go back home today. This is the one day that I have in, in a year to, uh, to be free. Freedom, no limit. Um, thank you. Um, I think I, I liked the imposition of change that was brought by um, this present situation we're living, um, where um, the pandemic COVID is, is raging and where we had to take measures to sort of um, have barriers to some of the excesses that we have. I, like uh, my sister, I don't have anything against celebrating. It's in our culture as Africans to celebrate. It's in our culture as women to, you know, to celebrate. But sometimes um, we need to um, stop and think more. Because I think that for a few years now, women have laid emphasis on the celebration aspects, mm. on the feasting. I mean, I organize women's activities in, in, in my office. And I can see that women were not enthusiastic this year because the celebration aspects of it were Left not out. there. Right. So I'm, I'm saying um, we should have given it the same value with the talks, with the conferences, with the discussions, the, the debates, as we, we, we give it when the celebration mm. aspects are there. But most women just stayed away. Mm didn't participate because so, there was no feasting. Uh -huh. Maybe also because they like the excesses we are talking about, stripping themselves naked or going and drinking, getting drunk. Yeah, well, um, it, th that would not be women from uh, my office or from any offices, yeah. public offices. I think know. these are women <laughs> who, um, uh, uh, um, who uh, do not have the same values like you know or are not as cultured and educated as women who are working in the civil service because there are different categories of women you know there are women who are educated cultured exposed and there are women who are just you know who uh, i say grew up like grass you know without any trimmings you know and so they celebrate differently they would 
you know, just go out there and be themselves. We will call it excesses. It will be expressing themselves for them. Wow. I, I, I'd like to play the devil's advocate here. <laughs> I, I, I think that we should not um, uh, um, on, the, on the play uh, the way they celebrate the, or the way they choose to celebrate mm -hmm. because probably that's the only way they know how to celebrate. Mm -hmm. right. and, and, and so if they, what we can do is maybe guard them and, and tell them that there are other ways to celebrate without denigrating your, your, your womanhood mm -hmm. or your femininity. So you do it in a way that enhances they your womanhood. Your and then, no, it is not, it's not a question. Of, you know, again, all of us need guidance every now and, and now and then. And so when, when you, they are exposed, like most of the women are now, mm -hmm. to the discussions that raise the bar, then their awareness is raised on the importance of being a woman. It is not just the woman's day. And I want to come back to the fact that maybe throughout the year, we should do also sporadic celebrations of women, not just wait for um, uh, March 8th. Mm -hmm. I, I like the, the American system. They have a, a Women's History Month. Mm -hmm. So throughout the, the the month, the month of, March, of March, they celebrate all the achievements of women. And so maybe if we were to get into this frame of mind where we celebrate the Bayam Salams, we celebrate mm -hmm. the, the women who stay oh, at else? home, mm -hmm. who are mothers, we celebrate the women who go to the market, you know, every day, we okay. celebrate women in their different areas and sectors, then we attach value to the things that they do, and then, then they feel that, yes. Some of them will not go to mm -hmm. such exercises. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Comfort. How do you appreciate uh, the way uh, last week's International Women's Day was celebrated? You did not go out to celebrate? Maybe you Well, I commemorated the day. And what I appreciate As about, usual or just because... It well, was it, was, it was different in context. Because of COVID, mm -hmm. there were uh, challenges and uh, the distancing and all the measures were respected. But what I appreciate about the commemoration this year is the fact that there was greater solidarity with women out of Cameroon because what COVID has, uh, has done is that it has pushed us to virtual spaces. Mm -hmm. And so what happened around the country, there were many virtual meetings. And so women in Cameroon, you know, could could connect, you know, have solidarity with women out of Cameroon. There were many platforms. But uh, what makes me, um, well, you know, when you're asking the question, I was looking like, Killian, don't, don't bring up the excesses. <laughs> Over the years, Women's Day celebration in Cameroon, after 8th March, 9th of March, on virtually all TV stations, you get reports of excesses. Yes. And the excesses are actually the exceptions. Mm -hmm. exactly. Women commemorate the day and they do amazing things, mm -hmm. but somehow the narrative that we have is usually on the excesses. And said, even when there were no excesses, one, now one you're bad, asking one us bad, one bad uh, how was it without the excesses? <laughs> so let's not focus on the exceptions because mm -hmm. women over the years have celebrated in formidable ways mm -hmm. and excesses are bound to happen whether or not it's on Women's Day. People Thank get you. drunk. Well, I think you People say it so quarters, well, so. but uh, we should focus also on the excesses because it said that one bad green can spoil the whole bag. But there are excesses every day every. Killian every day when you walk home from from when you drive home from work there are drunkards in the street so it's not a women's day celebration thing it's an everyday thing and if it happens on women's day as a woman who goes out to celebrate and commemorate I tell you is the exception okay. and, and let's just coming. say let's just say let me just say this yes. that it's really not a women's thing these uh -huh. excesses yeah. because the men do it on a daily basis right. there are men who are picked up every weekend from so gutters. are you defending women who do no that i am day? not at what i'm i am just trying to resonate i mean her point resonated with me in a sense that we are looking for these excesses because it's women's day mm -hmm. and because it's women mm -hmm. whereas these things happen regularly with men and also i i wanted to make the point that maybe we see them because we decide to see them Okay. We go out looking for them. Actually, I think we see them because the people reporting are putting on male lenses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. And so they go out <laughs> looking for those excesses so that they can say that here, we give women the freedom and look at what they do with it. And right. some women just start go out putting to make sure on gender lenses, lenses, my dear brother. Yeah. <laughs> and so, some, some women go out just to produce what those men want to produce. Project. I don't think it, that it, they deliberately do that. When you go to a, a, a funeral celebration, for example, okay, 
and there are dancers and there's drinking and mm -hmm. people get drunk and they fall in the gutter and and like you're saying men fall down and all that nobody zeroes in mm -hmm. on all of those things yeah, exactly. but why is it that when it comes to women's day celebration for some odd reason the men think that they should go and focus on those women dancing and raising their cameras. They think they've given oh. us a day and we've decided you to know? use it, you know, in their words, yeah. you know, to have excesses. I, but, I think we need to focus well, on what is important, Kilian. Exactly. On Women's Day, there are women who had outreaches, they donated to orphanages, the bought things donated to IDPs, and we cannot spend time talking about the few mm -hmm. Who got drunk that no, is I, not I, I priority you, it doesn't glorify that day. i got all of you right but thank you let, let me <laughs> let me as uh, uh, a person Insist. not just not just a woman a man mm -hmm. uh, amongst women say that a woman is a special being mm -hmm. made in a special way mm -hmm. and it is expected that that woman behaves in a special manner that's why one woman who misbehaves there is, there is, is again uh, Killian. Killian, yeah. there is more than there is more than one in way. a box Putting there is more than box. one way to be a woman. Mm -hmm. There is more than one way to be a woman. <laughs> there are women who love their alcohol and they will drink just as there are men. So don't say uh, uh, this is how women are supposed to be. And so we were looking at the exceptions. Again, that is not priority. Okay. It's part of our topic for today. We're yes. going to welcome Patrick Moore, <laughs> who has finally Final. come Final. into the studio <laughs> to complete uh, the, the, the panel. Um, uh, as I said, it's part of that point that comfort race is uh, actually what we are talking about today in our introduction we talked about Virginia Woolf who wrote an essay a room of one's own saying that if women had the same opportunities like men had in those days in a patriarchal society that we inherited today women would have been as good and women would have been in leading positions as they are and there is an example linked to that uh, in uh, another uh, um, essay, which came from a song uh, uh, by the Smiths, uh, published in song in, nine, in 1885, which is Shakespeare's sister. It talks about Shakespeare. You know, when we talk about great writers, we talk about great people. We talk Shakespeare. We talk Molière. We talk only men in those days. So, uh, by singing about Shakespeare's uh, sister, the author here is saying, if women had the same opportunities we would have had women equal to Shakespeare, mm -hmm. uh, quoted today. And that actually is our focus. It's gender. Is it a man's world? We're going to start um, with you, Patrick, <laughs> because you are a man. Then we look at what caused women to be where they were before they started uh, trying to come out of it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kilian. I'll already start by apologizing for arriving pretty late. But I knew that the powerful women that are on this set will certainly be animating the program as usual. Yes, it is a yes and a no question because um, more and more the issue about promoting um, gender or fighting against um, uh, gender-based violence and all of that has really been championed by women. Uh, maybe uh, by the mere fact that they are, they are the most affected. And but the, the, the dynamic seems to be changing in, in recent parts because we are seeing more and more that uh, men are being brought on board. And it's very important for, for men to be actively part of, of, of that campaign. Who is bringing who on board? Women are bringing, women are bringing men on board to fight. To fight? To promote, that they, they promote gender equality and all of that, to ensure yeah. that they, they, there isn't uh, uh, gender inequality in our society. She, she just mentioned um, the He for She campaign, which started in 2014, um, launched by the then United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. The campaign has, it's, it has been a movement that has virtually spread across the world, yes, rallying more than 1.5 million uh, men worldwide to have fight. Have you been brought on board? Are you one of those men yes, who in, have been brought on board? Yes, I think so. In 2015, we attended a um, seminar organized by UN Women Cameroon in which uh, not only journalists were brought on board the campaign because we we, we, we are like drivers, you know. We, we, we have a very important medium through which we can preach um, the best practices with regards to promoting gender. So I think men have been playing a vital role. And it's important because so I mentioned at the start because they are usually perpetrators of those crimes against... That's why I ask who is bringing who on board. Women are bringing men, like I said. Okay. It is their thing. Okay. It might be a war, but I think women play a vital role. They have been championing the campaign. Oh, okay. You finally landed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's a, let me, let me it's a woman's one. world. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Is it a man's world? <laughs> 
Well, let me start off by saying it is a woman's powered man's world. <laughs> I like it that way. <laughs> I know that male dominance for years and decades has been baked in the cake. The way we've been socialized, the way society looks at women, and the roles that society has assigned to both men and women, hence the concept of gender, which is a construct. But we know that without the women, we're going to have a very sad and a very pitiful world. But we need to see that from Virginia Woolf to today, women have made deliberate steps to ensure that the issues are brought to the platform and discussed like we're doing right now, so that people begin to be aware of the important roles that women also play in society. I heard a young woman speak on radio the other day and says, maybe we should move from a prise de pouvoir to, to a prise de conscience. Mm -hmm. Meaning that the awareness creating does not only <coughs> fall on the men, but also on mm. the women. So that we have to come together. The cake is baked. So now we need to start baking another cake from scratch. Mm -hmm. With the different value systems that we want to see in society so that women can begin to carve their own niche as equal partners in the development process in peacemaking processes mm -hmm. so that men can begin to understand that it is a game of partnership not pitting one uh, over Against, the or, other yes. yes now you talk about equality and i personally and i know there are people who have risen like me the point of equality to me and to so many who have come up on matters of gender say no equality is not the issue you could also as you say it's a man's empowered will that the woman's, woman's empowered, empowered world empowered, yes empowered the man to be what he is yes mm -hmm. when you say equal <laughs> are you not against women because no are you saying that if women came up today to occupy more positions you would say no 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 hold on let's give to men because mm -hmm. we have to be equal no no, yeah. no once once it's a question of mindset change now if you have a change of mindset and you start looking at women as human beings as people in society like desiderata says no less than the stars and the trees we all have a right to be here mm -hmm. so why do you want to negate the woman's right it is her right to exist. My point is on this word equality, which uh, yeah, Gladys raised, mm -hmm. I ask you the question. If we go for equity, I think we are saying if women come up and want to even go ahead in, we are talking about social, cultural, economic, and political, they should go ahead and lead. But when you say equality, it's like, okay, if they come up to 50-50, oh, wait there. No, um, no. What I think what she's trying to say is that when we say equality, you, you start from a point when you're taking, you know, yeah, measurements, right? So now the men are way up there mm -hmm. and the women are down here. So they're working to get to so equality. That does not mean that that is where the, the limit is. That is not where it, it, the, the horizon ends. Mm -hmm. If and we can go beyond that, we will. If we are given the opportunity, and not by the men, because I, I don't... I would go to ask I'm that not, question. Yes, because I'm mm -hmm. not for tokenism. Yeah. I think that women, on their own rights, if we have this paradigm shift that she's talking about, if we have the, the empowerment by, from ourselves, by ourselves, mm -hmm. if we dig down inside us, because we have all the inherent qualities that gives us, that empowers us, or that can empower us to go further than we are today. And so I'll go to the question, is it a man's world? world? And I say definitely mm. not. Because you might have the impression that you are running it because you are leading or because you are the bosses. But who is leading mm -hmm. is From the question. There is a big difference who between is leading? the boss and the leader. Who is leading? The woman is leading. From behind? Yes. But <laughs> she is leading. She is leading in the sense that she she. <laughs> she directs, <laughs> she leads from the home. Mm -hmm. 
She's in charge. She takes care of the men, the children, the home, the family. She does everything. All that construct is conditioned by the woman. Can I just can you can I just say that she is not the and, leader? And say this or to is that point, not a woman's yeah. world. To Jesse's point, the woman is the iron hand on the padded glove. The padded glove is the man. Mm -hmm. the, 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 hand, the, the iron hand under that padded glove is the one that controls. The man is the head, so right. the woman is the neck. So you need not complain the head, about women well, then. No, 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 no. no, no, no. You need not complain. No, 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 no. Because you no, rule. No, you it's, rule. It's we, not the, it's you need not complain because we, we, we you, 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 you have the not complaining. You control the men. Killian, we are not complaining. It is not a question of control when you ask whose world is it. Yes. That response depends on who is speaking. A while ago, we had a um, press, press review, yes. and I was keen on all the stories, yes. major stories on Cameroonian newspapers this week. Mm. All the stories that were reviewed featured men in a week where we're celebrating COVID and the leadership of, of women. women. The only story that they highlighted about a woman was a story of a man who left his wife because, because she yeah, had not betrayed. had sex with him for how, I don't know how long. And I ask myself the question, someone who is looking at Cameroon through the lens of our media, whose stories were we telling this week in yeah. Women's Week? Who are the leaders <laughs> of COVID response in Cameroon? Wait, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, Kilian. And, and then when you bring up, yeah. when you They're bring up, one, one second, Patrick, when you bring up a woman, <laughs> In the news this week, it's about her role having sex with her husband. Okay. So the question of whose world is it depends on whose perspective is it. And in Cameroon, it's largely a man's perspective, perspective. Mm -hmm. which, which is not uh, a reflection of our reality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that, this, 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 which is not this, a reflection of our this, reality because women are leading, but... We are not and being in the seen right places. as stories not are not in being the right told, places. and we are in not the right in the right places. places. Are they reading, leading in Killian, the right places or not? Killian, we are Killian leading Killian in, the right we're, we're, we're in the home where it matters. Killian, okay? Have, in the family where it matters. This, but you are leading in the public spaces, and we are not seeing... And that's where your faith is decided. The public right, spaces. Right, right. That is, that is why we would say we want... up. Equal opportunity in those places yes. as well. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Because we don't have it yeah. there okay. in that space. Yes, I have the impression that I'm being marginalized on this platform. <laughs> the women are virtually swallowed. Well, <laughs> three, three to one. Yes, you set one. Go, on, go ahead. Go ahead, Patrick. That's fine. That's fine. I would just to, to kill in with uh, from, from where uh, come from Musa. When, when she mentioned about um, the issues that attracted the press during the week, um, during a period which women are expected to be celebrated. I tell you, women are celebrated on a daily basis. And whether you like it or not, the woman has to push her way through. It will not be the man to, <laughs> to, 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 to leave the woman. Okay. The level where the woman becomes dominant. We so, totally agree. Yes. That is why we said that the empowerment has to begin with yes. us. Yes. We have to We're empower ourselves. Yeah. We have to know, embrace the power. power. Even in the traditional systems and uh, uh, cultures and, uh, and tradi traditions, I come from so the salt land was founded by a woman. So mm -hmm. I think Gonsal. inherently, Bansal, yes, mm -hmm. yes, so inherently the woman is in a position of power, but are we embracing the power mm -hmm. and are we using the power in the ways that we need mm -hmm. to so that it should come to the fore? My daughter told me that women's achievements usually are swept under the rug when a man does something that thing is highlighted mm -hmm. Kami was just saying you look we listen to the news what are we talking about what what is it? who which woman is featuring there and what is that woman doing now you Pat understand pa Patrick so you, you took you took from uh, Kami's Com Com exactly. intervention you know now let me let me ask you why in your because one of the papers reviewed there was the Guardian Post, and you are a desk editor in that uh, newspaper. Uh, why didn't you cover women? Uh, why do you not? We did. Maybe the reviewer decided not to feature on no, the thing. Them the no, they, they, to, be, to, be, to be honest with you, uh, Kilian, I think um, we dedicated it, 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 I'm sure, the Tuesday edition of the Guardian Post. We, we featured women, you know, we profiled women that were doing exceptional things in areas where Hitato was believed to be the men's, the the man's kind of male dominated. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, <laughs> activities and all of that. I think maybe the reviewer didn't. That aside, um, uh, the issue about uh, gender appeared to to be uh, so much focused on women. If we're promoting gender, we should be promoting both sexes. Parity. Mm -hmm. So, but you, when, when you, each time you hear about protecting, fighting against gender-based violence and stuff like that, it, it appears to be some kind of too focused on women. And you, that is you why, know why right? men sometimes... You know why? It, 
because women from the Except beginning your reasoning on, on my behalf <laughs> well we my it's a discussion my reasoning might be different from yours. okay go ahead my understanding is that we we are focused so much on women and we seem to be neglecting the fact that the the the, the male gender too has to be promoted you no, know? women are suffering. Yeah, 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 all of us are suffering. We might be, we might be no, suffering and smiling no, at the same time, Killian, because men, we are tough to the extent that we can that, be no. suffering yeah, at home Jesse, and smiling. Jesse, in we we are not giving the impression said, that yeah. our, that our when, rights too are not trampled no, upon. No. No. We're going to get into that. We have parity and justice and all of that. But when you look at the scales, right? It's not balanced. It's not balanced. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Scales are tipped in favor of the men. So that is why the women. Should we negate one aspect to the time of men only 50 50? I think the approach, the approach to <laughs> inclusive uh -huh. and sustainable development yes. is not digging a pit and creating and a mount of yes. We are trying to bring a balance. And to bring a balance, you need to ask yourself, how far do we need to bring A to, to, to B? Right. And where for the, now, the discussion. That, that, that focus, which looks like a lot on mm -hmm. the women, mm -hmm. is actually what we need to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. To we come to, to that level where yeah, we're so on the level. Get to the 50 50 no, agenda. No, it's, it's not stop promoting Patrick, the rights of men. Patrick, no, it's no, not, it's it's not about when, a 50 50, 50 agenda. Because the impression is one week, one, one week to Women's Day, a very sad incident happened in Zimbabwe. I didn't see more, the much hype, you know, condemnation on the social media. A 31 year old woman was caught in a red handed having mm -hmm. sex with. If a 13 year old boy in the minor, yeah. very few women took to, to their social media handles no. to condemn no, 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 and say no. 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 What, about, what about the 60 year old man who rapes a 40 year old man? Let's, no, let's, let's not let's go down. No, 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 let's, simultaneously, as the fight is ongoing, no, let, us not go down. To, let us not go down, down that rabbit because the proportion Patrick, is not the same. Patrick, I'm sure that's why there are three women here against one. No, 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 that's not the issue. Now, Patrick, I want to kill him, please. Let me comment, Patrick. I think that you raised a very important point, and that is. The, the point of the he for she campaign That's right. and that is why we need to keep raising heightening the awareness so that men like you can also join the fold to ensure that there is that parity we just came out of watch we just came out of watching uh, 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 yp rally right. and i looked at the little boys and girls going i mean no no inhibitions they mm. were just you know children mm -hmm. having a good time mm -hmm. and i asked myself mm -hmm. the question where did the disconnect happen? Mm -hmm. When does it happen that all of a sudden boys start thinking that they are better off? Yeah. That is the question. Where? That is a question. Where now, I, now, I, I now, with that, that said, happens yeah. quite yes. early. I you think know? that even, you know, uh, uh, yeah, you watch them. Yeah. You know, and yeah. they're working together. Yes. That's, that's what you see. Yes. But when you, if you watch them on their own, mm -hmm. you know, you will see that th that, that barrier is already there. That divide is already there. Mm. If you go naturally, if you j just take them into a room today and mm -hmm. say, um, okay, take your seats, you'll see the boys flock, no, on, flock no. on one side and the girls on the other side. Yes, so it it's, has to start it's from It's just there, there mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they've been socialized at home, you know, in mm -hmm. school mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by their peers mm -hmm. that they are the they are, superior. They are, yes, superior. The, men, okay. the boys are superior. Yes. And even the mothers and the, the parents tell them that, Boys can't do this because mm -hmm. you're a boy, so you can't be seen doing this. You can't be seen doing that, boys you know. Cry. Yes, because you mm -hmm. are a boy, you know, and the, they'll ask the girls to do otherwise. But just you know, to that, that you, have, you have an agenda so 2030. It, it starts from there. You, I, agenda 2030. Yes, agenda 2030 that you are working through, towards the, let me call uh, uh, the agenda by your name, parity. Mm -hmm. uh, now, in Cameroon, let me give these figures. We, in government, we have 11 ministers who are ladies. We have uh, 61 members of uh, National Assembly uh, who are women. We have 26 who are in the Senate. Uh, okay, uh, st uh, 60, 61 members of the National Assembly out of 180. We have 26 uh, senators out, uh, out of 100. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we have uh, 31 uh, mayors, mayors out, out of 360. 360. And, and 60. We even step it up to 374 74. because we have uh, the city uh, mm -hmm. mayors, city mayors and the rest. Yeah. Now, when you look at this, now don't forget the regional. Yeah, we are council. talking also <laughs> about the regional council. Regional that councils, came yeah. Zero. What is stopping you? Zero. No, women from from coming up to this level, um, uh, Kilian.
people ask this question all the time. Why are more women not voting women, mm -hmm. you know, into these offices? Let's look at the traditional systems of the parties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who vets who oh. on which list? Exactly. Who has the power to put a woman on a list? Mm -hmm. And the systems for now are still too patriarchal. Mm -hmm. I give you a case in point. There was um, uh, a lady in, in the Northwest with the SDF party. I did a report on her, Dinah Ambofe. And she wanted to run for elections. She put her name on a list, and this is a report I did. The village council and the politicians called her into a room, drew some line on the floor, and said, if you know you are a true daughter of this... Cross, 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 cross this line, line and you will go. And so you have patriarchal systems mm -hmm. that really limit women, you women. know, yeah. from a, even getting into the list. Yes. And you have, you have party systems where... Party systems look at mind. the SDF. The, the, their, their policy has chairman, chairman, chairman. You may, you may say, no, it's just terminology. Just terminology but yeah. if it is documented, mm -hmm. people grow up knowing that a party leader has to yes, be a man. Chairman. Same yes. with the CPDM, same with most other so parties. So what should yeah. you do? Let, let, let her answer so, first. What, so what, what is what, supposed to be done? What should be done at this level is that we need to review party uh, policies. We need to review the influence of traditional authorities mm -hmm. in party systems. Because when you talk to women, they will tell you it was our chief who called me to back out. Mm -hmm. It was this minister who called me to back out because of who runs which parties. Very good. Yeah. And we that, is even at the women that is even at the level women. that is at the level of so uh, that, that, the, the, the traditional that's, setup. That's the, that's the traditional no, setup. Traditional the setup the, the, primary the, setup of the parties. Of the party. yes. Let me just See, there, is, there is a point related to what she is saying. Because when you take it from that traditional setup mm -hmm. and you come up, the main problem, because if at the traditional level, uh, women are not, at the not, local level, women are excluded in the way mm -hmm. she is. Yeah. Excluded in uh, policy? Yes, mm -hmm. and um, it is in the law. The problem is the electoral code itself. The best that is given to a woman in the electoral uh, code when it comes to regional elections uh, it comes to uh, parliamentary, it comes to um, other elections, council elections, mm -hmm. is the gender aspect. Mm -hmm. That's as much as it is said. Mm -hmm. uh, if it were uh, that uh, this out of seven, mm -hmm. three or four mm -hmm. must be women, mm -hmm. that's where your fight should go. You know, um, let me say this, that I am really adverse to this idea of tokenism. Mm -hmm. We are yeah. not, you yeah, know, we're not tokens, we're not tokens to be yeah. handed out mm -hmm you know, no, as gifts to people. We don't want handouts. Mm -hmm. What needs to be done, right, is that we, we need to change the narrative yeah. for the women. Without while, going through while, the law? No. The legislation? No, no, no. While, while I agree with her that, that we have limitations within the party systems and the traditional system, we also need to educate the women mm -hmm. that they need to be bolder yeah. and more daring. Embrace They need the power. to accept the powers, the inherent powers mm -hmm. that yeah, they maybe have. I should, maybe I should say down, something. Let me just, let me just go mm -hmm. get to the end of my thought. Mm -hmm. Down. Because the truth is, women do not embrace all the powers, powers that abilities. they have. Their abilities and the skills that they have. Mm -hmm. Because if you took me into a room and said, cross this line, I if cross. if we had women who knew who they are, I would. you it's tell me, cross this I line. Cross. No, that is ah. why I said we need well, to raise I awareness. I will we need to educate <laughs> women <laughs> that they need to, to be more daring. They have authority. Killian. 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 Authority uh, no, no, no. Killian, that is why. And rooms that you cannot enter. Killian. Killian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all the other women no, are not if it should not even Kilian. exist, you should not even be bullied yes, out of out your of aspirations it. in the first place. Kilian, let me tell you this. They tell women widows. Mm. Oh, if you don't take that bath, you're yes. going to die. Yes. There are women who have not taken that bath and have not died. Kilian. They didn't die. So women should stand defy, up, yeah. should, be, should be more daring. They should take their destinies in their hands and say that, you know, we are not going to accept gifts from you, quotas and whatever. Mm. We, that is the narrative that needs to change. Mm -hmm. Women uh, need by to not embrace their strength. A new Why don't a new with, new, with new, new parameters? Yes, yes. 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 Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, Patrick. Yes. The issue is, you know, some of these truths have to be told. Women seem not to have confidence even in themselves. Wow. Yes. Especially Correct. in their, they, if you can imagine a woman not having confidence yeah. in herself, yeah. she cannot have confidence mm -hmm. on her peer. Exactly. So, yeah. for example, in 2011, two women were seeking the office of president. How many women voted for them? Mm -hmm. Esther and the others. Yes. 
women do not even see them like leaders, like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they can assume the highest office of the land. I think that's so, not where the issue is. So, women must be able to self it. It is part of the problem. It is part of the level of appointment. Women should not just go for a woman because it's a woman. To your yeah, point, yeah. and Kwame said it, to your point, it is the patriarchal systems which have been ingrained in our minds socialized. for so long. We've been socialized to think mm -hmm. that a president should be a, a man. man. So you grow up seeing that and thinking, I keep saying, we have had four world conferences on women, mm -hmm. deliberate and intentional, with, with, with ideas and guideposts for how women can move the women's agenda forward. Why has much not no. changed? I, I, because I, I, I because not the rhetoric is because, because the mindset the has not changed. We can't change the mindset of women. That, women that's why we're that's saying that we're saying. saying. That's what we're saying now, right now. That changing we need that. I think, I think that part of changing that change. mindset yeah. yes. is not doing what you are saying that just because a woman is a woman as a presidential candidate without the necessary argument qualification you have to go behind that woman i think i've listened to some women who say no if a woman comes up and she does not have the requirement the qualification we don't go yeah. for, but of for, course for, i want to be sure competence no, competence, competence. Of course. Is not, i tell is, women that you, must, yeah. you vote competence. women must be excellent at everything yeah. that they do yes. I, I because think once that, you are excellent you honest, become Kilian. unforgettable oh, you yes. must be excellent yeah. we cannot have mediocrity when it comes to women, to women yes. because that is the only way we are going to push the envelope the, exactly Komi is a fantastic journalist I will, st I will I will back her up so any time of day. Public office, you vote I will vote yes. for me. No. If Jesse is running, well, I will yes, vote. Not you, because I I, she can do the no, job. No, no, no. I see because, the because we no, because we also have to be <laughs> intentional in see. getting the women there. <laughs> I'll appoint being, you. <laughs> I'll, our president will make you <laughs> <killer>. intentional. <laughs> intentional is the word. Intentional because intentional yeah. is the word. we have to be intentional in getting the women there. So if I have a qualified woman and a qualified man, I will go for the qualified woman because we are trying to meet. A yeah. target. This is true. And because, because we can't no, 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 no. And, and, and also mm -hmm. because the woman's way of leadership is people centered. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say this, no. but men are we, structured, they are clinical, we, we, but women embrace we, humanity. We and so I will go for the woman. We agree, but this is the question. Mm -hmm. Sorry. What but. will you do? <laughs> what will this you do? Serious. What will you do with the men mm -hmm. whom you will find on your way as you bring in? disqualify women because men as we say are the ones there what do you do with those that's where her Come point in. comes in where she says we need to change in the patriarchal system yes and the institutions yes you know that exist we need to also we need to change the texts you know the laws because they are very important but before we get there or when we do that if there are no women to to be to take that the position then we lose Everything. The seats. Seat. So we have to start with ourselves. Uh, and, and from, we have to try. from Beijing yes. in 1995 yes. to today, you want to continue with sensitization education? No, 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 uh, uh, women's decade. Mm -hmm. you know, they, they have a decade for women. They had mm -hmm. a year for women, mm -hmm. a decade for women, and then every five years they had a, a re-evaluation mm -hmm. of yeah. how far we have gone. Things have been done. That, that, that's not the, just... The, the, okay, there has been progress. Yeah. 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 You, you, read, you, you want to continue numbers. to do the same things? No, 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 no we have been working on one track, which is we, what, um, what I'm saying is this. Those things have been dealing with institutions. Mm. Okay? I've been dealing with bringing change within institutions yes. and policy and countries. to get women yes. to yes, gender exactly, mainstreaming into, yes, yes. into, uh, into, mm. the, into the system. Mm. Now we are saying that we need to change the narrative and yes. say women, we cannot keep waiting on these people to change their laws, to change the, 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 the institutions, to the change policies, you know, yes. policies to get us in there. We need to work on ourselves. Thank you. We need yeah. to do it ourselves yes what, so what do have the to do? education but is changing what? in the sense that we're not waiting anymore for uh, for institutions we're or whatever. empowering we are ourselves. empowering ourselves we're you, trying to get women to not, know that they have the power what it takes at this moment it, at inherent this, to do it at this, at this moment that we speak yes. uh, yeah at yes. this moment as we speak, yes. we have the electoral law, electoral code, mm -hmm. which, which, which is, which is, is not is even gender sensitive. Not gender sensitive. That's what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. No, I don't see how many women are teaming up 
to make sure that those laws are changed. Now, that's point. one. To that's one. Mm -hmm. Second thing, Parliament is sitting mm -hmm. right now. Yes. Uh, I, I don't see but specific laws that are going to say this, we are where we are because the laws favor men. And you don't seem, you seem to be downplaying the law when well, I think it's... You, 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 are saying read, that you read we, numbers, uh, yes. the statistics that you gave yes. point to one thing, that there's been progress. Yes. True, we're having more women in these spaces. What must happen, you know, for more progress? Should I tell you so exactly what, what, what happened what, what, that what you had the progress? Happen? What must Let happen me tell you what here? happened that you had that progress. It was in 2013, during the senatorial uh, elections that were followed by the uh, parliamentary elections mm -hmm. later that year. And it's... One person who got up was President Pobian, who said, in all CPDM lists, because it, it actually, I'm telling you, this is a fact. Yeah, if you don't, all right, Kilian, you, 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 I thought you were going to complete my thought, but you've, you've taken it um, the other way. Right? The other way. Be because what must happen, that one. what must happen is that the few women that are there, need to mentor more women because you Thank don't just you. wake up one that day and become president. We need experience. We but need these women to show us how we can break the ground. Yes. When you get, what when can you do? We exactly. need more women to be mentored. Mm -hmm. And we need young women, yeah. Killian, yeah. to see more women in power yeah. in Cameroon. Yes. A young girl in, in, in Boya or in Betwa, mm -hmm. who does she see as people as holding model. power? Mm -hmm. It's the SGOs, mm -hmm. it's the governors, mm -hmm. it's the commissioners in their town. And now Often it's men councils. and now the regional councillors. Mm -hmm. Since independence, yeah. Cameroon has not had a female governor. We've not had a prime minister. For those who watch TV, CRTV, there's never been a female GM. And these, I are, these are the images of power that one. women see. And so we grow up, even, 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 no, even those, even, in, even okay. those who are educated want to, want to uh, run for some of these offices, but sometimes we just don't know how because we've not seen examples. So, so while we are hoping that more women are elected, yeah. there is an easier thing that can, that, that yeah. can be done. Right. Let women be appointed. Well, it you. takes just someone the to, appointed to, you know, offices, women should be appointed. We need a female governor in Cameroon. The, the playing field. We need yeah. more women in, 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 the, in, in the board. Yeah. Because instead of, you know, you my, know. mine is go for the law, um, modify the Because law. you were saying that empower, the president said all civilian needs to be civilian. You are very correct. Yes. And this is what civil society organizations are doing. Most of the NGOs that are working on women's issues are looking critically yeah. at the different laws and the laws that discriminate against women. And they're forming lobby groups. This is work that is being done on the ground. Mm -hmm. Women are thinking critically mm -hmm. in order to act strategically. Mm -hmm. So we need right. to take it step by step. By step. We, can, we cannot take it in gulp sizes. We need to take it in bite sizes. Yeah. Secondly, secondly, when women get to the table, they must pull the other women, women up. Right. Right. They right. must be sure. able to identify all the other women who are competent and raise their, the mm -hmm. flag mm -hmm. and say, look, look at this woman. She's able to do yes. this and this and that. Walt Disney says, if you can dream it, you can, you do, can it. do it. Do it yeah. How do you dream it? By seeing others, yeah. others do the it. Mentor. And you follow the example. Mm -hmm. if, the, if the young girls growing up do not see role models that mm -hmm. they can aspire to, you know, that inspire them to do things, you know, it's most of the time unintentional, these, uh, these uh, uh, role models, what they, they actually accomplish. Because I know lots of women, young girls who will walk up to me today and say, oh, you know, I, I became to a be journalist exactly because, because of, of you. you. Thank I you. never did. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So me. I never knew what yeah. I was doing. You inspired I was just doing my work. You inspired so many. Yeah. Yes. Now, so that's so why many, I'm saying so, so that many women are need still to be dream. put in those positions, okay? So that's why I'm asking that they should be appointed so that we it can open the minds the oh, eyes of the yeah. young girls so, so they that get, they too can aspire look and at grow what and look at what for kamala harris oh, has kamala done harris women. has done for women yes. in, in america women of color in the world. Yes. Yes. all the little girls now and dream the that they can also become way, they um, they can, can, I, can i have the opportunity to a while ago a while ago a while ago killian was saying that um the president asked that on all cpdm lists they should have women that's a good thing and now, and, and now we're, 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 we're pleading members. that on all appointments, yeah, His Excellency the President should also have women no, right. as governors mm -hmm. and in other key positions key in this positions country. Well, we, we already key, have, key, but we are, asked, we are not, telling uh, you. No, it's not. Come no, on, the numbers Killian. are not there. They're not visible. Yes, yes. we need uh, more. You, you talk on, on law first, then you go ahead with your point. Yes, the law, the law I think at the moment the law already favors the women. How do you mean? Especially, no, for elective positions. Women should be able to 
to, to take the lead Elect without necessarily somebody necessarily pushing from behind. The laws are favorable. Well, like like at the level of instance, appointments public, are discretionary. No, I'm talking about elected, elected public, po yes. public so what, offices, what for example. Yeah. Yeah. For example, at the level of the local councils, mm -hmm. it, it's if it's a man is the mayor, one of the deputies must be a woman. Why? 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 why, why no, I'm saying that in the case yeah. where we have female mayors okay, in this country, okay, okay. at we least have. no, we have where? female mayors. Right. Where? So many of where? them, especially even in Norway and Southwest, we have so many in Bakasi areas and so. We we are talking about that's the progress. One, one, the the progress we applaud, yes. and there is a ministry. There is no ministry in charge of men in this country. But there's a ministry. There's a ministry in charge of women. Because we have sorted that out. We've sorted that out. Because we need. No, sometimes it's good to remind ourselves. No, because we need to pay attention to bring the women to where they they have to be mm -hmm. in society in the public arena. Yeah. That's actually, we, why we, we want need to commend the work that and that, that is why we doing. need yes. a women's yeah, day. Doing a very uh, uh, but we don't have a ministry in charge of men. Day. Now we're going, it's not we, 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 we are going to because welcome uh, have, Elvis Teke. Uh, <laughs> Elvis Teke has been following <laughs> up the reactions from our viewers as we discuss here. There are people who have been keen uh, watching us and sending in reactions. Uh, Use the connecting to CRTV web Facebook. We have, a, I suppose, a good number of reactions. Elvis Teke, welcome to the program. Uh, thank you, Kilian. Quite a good number of reactions. We may not be able to read all, but just a few we can. We begin with Rose Uba, who says, On the representation of women in leadership positions is really a call for concern. And uh, Alo Martin immediately responds by saying that it is not voting, it is a presidential appointment. Kwa Jacob says positions are never given and they should be taken. I want to see more female mayors. Um, Enos, um, Eno Manyi Samuel says, from my understanding, the word gender, it refers to the way or, or what the society sees mm -hmm. you to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, Prince Mutabene Obesa says, I don't think it's a man's world anymore. Things have changed and gradually, but surely things should move to the better. And I uh, will end with uh, Dito Boris, who says, as much as some women have stood on their feet to fight for gender equality, some women are still trying hard that a woman is the weaker sex. Oh, and that's where we'll end Thank for you now. very mm -hmm. much, uh, Elvis. Uh, you listened to those um, reactions from our viewers. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> for the first time we are saying ladies, you know, generally it's uh, gentlemen. You need to change that dynamic. Yeah, right. We are struggling to change, that's why you are yes. here. <laughs> now there are, we have about <laughs> six minutes to go to the end of the program. There are some other areas where men actually feel that they control the world. We have in, in terms of marriage, uh, when one of the spouses uh, dies, a woman is supposed to live for long before remarrying. Uh, whereas a man can go around, you know that better than me. Uh, in terms of adultery, <laughs> proving it alone favors a man. That's a woman. You just have to establish that a woman did this and she is condemned. You have, in terms of rape also, um, uh, I know we're talking about copying. Um, in Cameroon, in Africa, I should say, we hear that some of you are saying that your husband can rape you. Those are things uh, that <laughs> Africans don't. Uh, okay, we're going to comment on some of those aspects. How okay, can your uh, husband rape the wife? Uh, 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 okay, uh, we'll start with you. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm just curious how a man can rape the wife. Let me tell you how a man can rape the wife. Sex is supposed to be mutual consent. Yes. And if so I, when one party does not consent, it is rape. At any given time. At any given time. Yes. Whether you're married or not. It's not It's not debatable. Those are things that are inherited from the West. No, it's not inheritance from the West. <laughs> you see, listen, you, it, like she, she says, it's consensual. You know, you have to ask and I have to respond. If right? You, if, you, if I it do can not just, respond it, it can just be sexual violence. Reason. It cannot be rape. With all due respect, yeah. it cannot be rape. Between, uh, uh, it can, it just, violence the violence rape. because maybe at that moment, maybe rape, you can imagine forcing yourself on somebody. How can you force okay, yourself? Okay, now, well, 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 no, 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 listen, listen. listen. No, contextually, it's not the same. No, can I give you an example? If it comes at the time, because she's available to you, if it comes at the time, that means that you can have her anytime you want. Now, if we can, at that time, at that time, at that time, you reject him. Let's give him a clear example. If he goes out, will you blame him? No, let 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 me let me give you a clear example. Killian, okay, can I give him a clear example? Yes. Get you are home, those yes. Yes. and exactly. your husband goes mm -hmm. out, he has a good time, he's been drinking and he's drunk, okay? And he comes back home and he's, you know, you probably are sleeping and he forces himself on you. How do you explain that? Is it because he's entitled? Because it's, he's your husband? 
If next is time, the definition yeah. of rape doesn't change, of, change doesn't with the perpetrator. Okay. It doesn't okay. matter if it's your you husband know. or it's your now, that was, we have You touched something that concerns me directly, and oh. that is the, the thing of widowhood and when yeah, widowhood. When, that's one when, of them. Yes, when the when the man when the man dies, you know, and 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 all of that, and and the woman is forced to go undergo all of these kinds of practices and yes. things. I want to say that. Unfortunately, those things happen, but things are changing. Okay. Things are changing. And that is why we need to empower the young girls to know that before you get married, have something to do. Have something that you can call your own. Because if your partner were to leave you, then you would have the responsibility, the sole responsibility to raise your family. The onus is on you. Why you don't get married immediately, the widows, you said, mm -hmm. whereas for the man it's easy. Mm -hmm. It's a choice you make. I could have gotten married after my husband died, but I made the choice because I had daughters and children to raise. I thought that it would be better for me to concentrate on that and do that. It's a personal choice. That oh, that's make. a quest. Of, of, you know, if a woman so chooses, and this is what my point is, that after her husband passes, she would like to remarry. She should have that opportunity okay. and, the, and the ability to do so. Yes, another very uh, spicy, dicey thing that actually makes some people feel that uh, the man is a man's word is a man simply needs to accuse a woman or catch her anywhere out of the home mm -hmm. uh, and say adultery, adultery is good for divorce. But a woman has to uh, get him on the matrimonial um, mm -hmm. bed, and also even have to prove after that. It's a man's world. Um, the laws make it a man's world. But the reality is not that. I stand by my word at the beginning of, this, uh, of the program that it's not a man's world. Coming. But the laws seem to favor the men. Um, and it goes back from our traditional societies, mm -hmm. you know, and from even from our socialization, because the women have for this long, not done much about those things, uh, or have not been able to overcome some of those things, even within the society, because they have been boxed in, mm -hmm. and they need to, to be come to, out of the yes box. to come uh, out, of um, the, uh, out, out, out of the box. Yes, they are trapped, and we, they need to be able to break and come out. Yes, we one other thing that women men are holding women down is that economically they are not. In terms of land ownership, mm -hmm. uh, you have just about how many women, 3% of women who own uh, uh, property. And in terms of, in their name, you have 1.6%. Yeah. Uh, how do you come out of this? Well, the thing with land ownership and, and land rights in Cameroon is that a lot has changed. Mm -hmm. If you're a woman who's working and you have your money, what stops you from buying your land? Mm -hmm. Issues of land ownership come into play where there are traditions where uh, customs say a woman cannot inherit land. But even that depends on on the family. My, 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 my father mm -hmm. gifted me a plot of land. Yeah, me okay, too. That's good. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, in that case, um, I think that it's contextual. It's it depends okay. on, on who now is we, involved. We, 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 yeah. we are almost uh, getting to the end of the program. Last word, uh, Patrick. Well, I think the debate continues. <laughs> Whether it's a woman. Yeah, well. or, uh, no, I, I will not want to pull the blanket towards my own direction. But I think we, we all own the wall. It depends on how you fight to get what you want. Okay, Jesse. My last word? Yes. Um, I'm, I would like to urge women. My last word okay. is that women should become more daring. Mm -hmm. They should become, they should be more courageous, that they have it in them. All it takes to be able to break the glass ceilings in whatever fields they are, circumstances mm -hmm. they find themselves, situations, and that they should be deliberate in making a plan for their lives. Thank you very much. Women, yeah. you are individuals. Mm -hmm. No, I just, I just want to say this, yes. that every woman should decide that they should have a legacy. Okay. They should leave a legacy before they leave the Thank you very much. Yeah. And picking up on the legacy, a legacy is not something that you bequeath to people. It's something that you leave in people. Mm -hmm. And so my onus now is that it's passing it on, paying it forward. My mantra is a candle loses nothing by lighting another mm -hmm. candle. So my work is to light as many female, young girls, mm -hmm. girls' as candles as I can so that they can push forward the agenda and make sure that women have equal spaces equal opportunities to, to fulfill their truest, best 
possible selves who thank that they you. want to be thank in you. society thank you thank you very much uh, thank you for coming uh we are uh, one minute into the time of the next program we want to thank you sincerely for coming to this de debate table today and we thank you also ladies and gentlemen for giving us your time uh, that was it today if you miss out on this program from the beginning you can watch a rebroadcast on monday between 2 30 and 3 p.m or you just connect to crtv facebook crtv web facebook and you can watch the program at your convenience thanks once again have a nice day